Hello Primary 3, welcome to my channel, I am Sara, I am teaching science and today we are going to talk about matter. As you can see here Primary 3, we have a picture of chair, picture of an apple and picture of a pencil. In science, we call the chair matter, we call the apple matter, we call the pencil matter. So today we're going to talk about matter. So what is the meaning of matter? So matter is everything around us. If you look around you, you can see a TV, a couch, a chair, a lamp. Mm, what else? You can see in the school, copy book, a book, pencil, rubber. So all of those called matter. So everything around us or anything around us is matter. So matter is everything around us. Matter has mass and volume. So matter is everything around us that has mass and volume. So what is the meaning of mass? Mass is the amount of matter in the object. What is the meaning of that? How heavy the object is. So mass is how heavy the object is or the amount of matter in the object. Like the balloon and like a car. Can you tell me which one is heavier? The balloon or the car? Super. So the car is heavier than the balloon. Why? Because the amount of matter here in the car is more than the amount of matter in the balloon. If the balloon is light and the car is heavy, so mass is the amount of matter in the object or how heavy the object is. How about volume? Volume it is the space occupied by the object. What is the meaning of occupied space by the object? The space that the object takes, okay? Well, here we have two balls, small ball and big ball. The small ball takes small space from the space around it. And the big ball, the soccer ball, take more space from the space around the ball. So the volume of the soccer ball more than the volume in this small red ball. So volume is the taking space or the space occupied by an object. So here we have some questions. Write the scientific term. Number one, anything that has mass and volume. When you see the magic words anything and mass and volume in one question, this is mean matter. So matter is everything around us or anything around us that has mass and volume. Super. Okay, number two, the amount of matter that the object contains. The amount of matter that the object contains. Hmm? Super. So, mass is the amount of matter that the object contains. Number three, the space occupied by the object. The space, when you see the magic word space, space, so... Now we talk about hmm, super volume. So volume is the space occupied by an object. Question number two, complete. Matter has what and what? Matter has super mass and volume. So matter is everything around us or anything around us that has mass and volume. Number two, what is amount of matter? In an object, amount, the magic word, amount of matter. So now we talk about super mass, clap for yourself. Okay, number three, what is the space occupied by an object? When you see the magic word space, so now we talk about volume, super, clap for yourself. Okay, question number three, put right or wrong. Volume is the amount of matter in an object. Is it right or wrong? Volume, volume, the amount of matter, the magic word amount of matter, refer to volume or mass, super mass. So volume is the amount of matter in the object? No, strong, super. Okay, number two, matter is the space occupied by an object. The magic word space, space refer to volume or mass. 
volume super so matter is the space occupied by an object is it right no super it's wrong okay number three a pen is not a matter is it right no why because everything or anything around us is matter so in science we call anything around us matter super so it's wrong okay question number four give a reason a ball is a matter because it has what and what super because it has mass and volume you are super primary three this was our lesson for today i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe and share goodbye